Okay, um, just on another box frame um, on my Tannhauser Gate memories, um, and it's this one, Donny Darko. Um, it took quite a lot of layering up, printing out, layering up, using foam pads, using my Stanley knife, as you can see. It's a bit of a wreck everywhere. All this rubbish everywhere. But this is uh, this is how it came out. Um, as you can see. A few layers. I think there's two or three layers just to make Donny pop a bit away from Frank. Um, used the white aperture at the back just to give it a border. Um, was going to put the love uh, and the fear, um, which is part of the movie for fans who know about it. I was going to put the date underneath, but I think it looks pretty cool just as it is. Um, it's got, you know. Looks, it's got a few layers there instead of it just being like a two a flat print because um, each each element that's flat that's flat each one were, were found in different places and then I've just used a craft knife just to cut around the hooded top uh, I found a different um, um, skeleton chest cavity because it just looks a little bit more realistic to um, the one Jake Gyllenhaal wore in the film um, I think it looks alright. So this is the first of hopefully many uh, Donny Darko box frames. Um, and I'll see how we go with these. Um, just to show you a little side angle. Because of the reflection obviously you can't see much but... There you go. Just works pretty well just like mono black and white. So I'm going to be putting this one up, anybody that might be interested. Um, so now I've got the templates and I can do multiple passes on them and then use the craft knife to get, you know, finer edges, especially um, Donny's hooded top because these parts here, they kink really quickly. And So that's what I've done. Um, and that's this box frame. So thank you for watching.